Hello everyone and welcome to the early access of B-17 Flying Fortress the Mighty Eighth Redo. So a little bit of a mouthful there, but this is a game that I've actually been really excited about. I didn't play the original, but this is a remastering of a classic bomber simulation game. And very, very nicely, the nice people at Microprose uh, gave me a copy of the key for this game so I could test it out and show it to all of you. Now this is my absolute first impressions here, and as I just said, I did get the game for free, so do take anything with a pinch of salt, but everything will be honest as always. By the way, I do not know too much about this, and it definitely still has a very much a 90s style interface, so it is a little bit clunky, and so probably going to take a little bit of learning, but let's jump in and see how it goes. Now one thing that's immediately a little bit weird is the way the menu works. You select the item by clicking on it, as you normally would, but it doesn't actually do anything. You then have to click the next button, which is a cute kind of nod to the old style controls, but it is a little bit odd when you're trying to load up for the first time. So I've gone through a couple of the tutorial missions. There is a lot to take in initially, and the tutorials are very much not complete right now. There's basically one full tutorial, and then the rest are just practice. So all of that is still coming in early access, so I'm probably going to make lots of mistakes here. But I'm going to do what was advised to me and start off with a historical mission here. And here we go, we've got Bremen attack, 20th of December, 1943. Oh, very nice. Reconnaissance film of our target. That is a really, really cool feature, but I think some more modern uh, flight sims could really use. So there's our target. Yeah, we've got the map here, so we're flying out over channel over the North Sea, doing our bombing run, and then coming back in. Okay, so our primary target on this one is the Bremen Fuckerwolf factory, followed by the Bremen oil refinery, and the Bremen industrial complex. Okay, so we put in the start time. Okay, and a lot of this is by default automated. So here you can see them going through, they're doing their startup procedure. I think I can take control and do all sorts of things on small scale, but I'm just letting them do it for now. So if I do control B, that's telling everyone to get going. And all of the bombers do seem to be starting up here. So this is a remaster of a old game. They've rebuilt the engine, clearly using some old assets here. Surprisingly, this third person view doesn't look too great, especially when we jump into the first person. We've got really a lot of detail on the pilots. Really impressed with the pilot detail, but we can see there's a lot of older things dotted around. So while they're getting the engine set up, let's just take a tour of our plane here. So we've got different compartments that we can jump into. So here, of course, flight deck. We've got the bombardier and navigators area. Oh, and we're already starting to taxi here. So again, I could take control of the pilot and do all of this. Um, I would very much need to have some difficulty with the controls because uh, the controls are not happy with my multiple uh, HOTAS setup. It's detecting my flight stick and my throttle just fine. It does not like my pedals, which is a bit unfortunate because I completely do not remember how to fly without pedals these days. So I'm just going to let the crew handle the flying and take over anything that I need to along the way. Yeah, while well, we're taxiing, just going back to this, so my bombardier is currently on the uh, front gunner position, so I can uh, look in here. His instruments are just the number of rounds that he's got, but I can also go to his 
uh, action view, and so this is his gun control. I can take over at any point. If I press M, it goes into manual mode, and then I'm in control. And so I can turn his little front gun. I can shoot it. I think we'll save our ammo for the Germans. And then I push M again, it hands back off to the AI control. Let's see, we've got our navigator here. So he's got a nice view of the engines in his window view. Uh, his action view is looking at his radio doodad. But we are starting our takeoff run, so let's jump back into the third person view, see how we do. Yeah, although it's clearly low poly and low texture right now, I still do have a lot of nice little effects. The flaps do come down there. Gears are nicely raising. There we are off the ground. And if I understand correctly, this plane will just start making its way over. And here I've got it on a map view, so you can see our flight leaving here. Ridgewell Air Force Base. Right, that is the front base we can just keep moving back we've got the bombay next the bombay is also home to the top gunner slot so you can look out his gun i've got our radio operator here nice and he does actually take notes and we've got our two side gunners got a lovely view of the outside and finally our tail gunner nice little view out the back of the plane. Now unlike Bomber Crew this is a full-scale map of Britain and Northern Europe and so the flight times are going to be realistic flight times so it's going to take a very very long time but nicely enough there are time controls so I can increase time go can increase it up to eight minutes time right now i believe we are just waiting for the formation to join up and i can put it into slow motion time as well which is always nice i can also push enter to jump ahead for the next 10 minutes unless something interrupts us so there we go can see now that we have started to form up. I don't know what's wrong with that plane over there. Doesn't look too happy. The rest of us seem to be going okay. okay so currently the navigator's gotten himself lost, but hopefully he'll be able to work out where we are. As we're bumbling over the channel here, you can see our wing of bombers. So there's 12 of us here all in all. All heading across the channel. So the original game apparently took six months for the two to three developers to put together this map. You can see it's a really, really nice map. You can definitely tell it's passing over the low countries there. Okay, and... Just try to skip time again. We've got a formation of fighters scrambling, so things are going to get a little bit hairy pretty quickly. I right, can see our escorts getting a little bit excited. We've got some P-39s over there circling around us. See the P-39s overhead there. Seem to have relaxed a bit, so I think we are safe for now. Yeah. And to check where we are, we, so we go into the navigator's position, go to his instrument view. This is the map that he is updating. He's got a little bomber here, heading over. Okay, so we're just beginning our turn in towards the targets now. As you can see... Danish coast up there, heading towards the inlet north of Bremen. 
Okay, now we're coming up very close to the target now. Turning into our bomb run. Navigators keeps getting lost for some reason, but never mind. Alright, turning into the bomb run now. Bomb doors have been opened. Guessing that's Bremen over there, a little bit ahead. You can see the top and bottom gunners rotating around looking for targets, but nothing's found us yet. No flak either so far. All going pretty cleanly. Yeah, so Bombardier has opened the bay doors. He's flipped all the switches. We can do all of this manually as well if we wanted to. Okay, things are getting a little bit more real here. Flak is definitely starting to kick off. Now we've got fighters coming in. Right. Oh, taking control if I can. Oh. Firing at the 109. And we're still taking flak. Brave enemy pilots diving into uh, this flak fire to take us on. Fire here. They're too low for me to hit. Fire at them on the other side. Now diving away. Oh, bombs away. You can see some of our bombs hitting there. I don't think they hit the target. I think that was the target they're hitting there, but never mind. Fighters seem to have gone away. Fighters are coming back in. Just one of them's left alive. See one of our wingmen's taken a fair bit of damage. We seem to be pretty much unscathed with that, though. Oh, tried to fire at the uh, fighter that's behind us. Did not go too well. Oh, new enemies. Oh dear. I see can pause it at any point. Trying to shoot. Render distances. Something to be desired here. Yeah, the fighters seem to have left us alone and we're now heading back. Back over Britain. And letting the AI handle the landing. Come in nicely. And we're down. And there we go. So it was a complete mess. Uh, the AI did not do a good job at finding the target there. Um, lost one bomber, shot down five. Yeah, so that was a mission that was pretty much all automated, but we can do a lot of things manually here. Can jump into pretty much any crew position, as we saw there. I did take control of the gunner position, since those are nice and straightforward, but let's have a look at what else we can do. So yeah, this is a simulator, so I can jump in and take manual control of the pilot here. Hello. 
lower the landing gear. Deploy the flaps. Don't believe it has head tracking controls. But you can make do with it without those. And controls certainly feel reasonable. Plane certainly feels heavy as you would expect. A little bit of wobble. Throttle controls are nice though. Bit of a hard landing, but hey ho. There you go. Set it down. Fair enough. I'm going to have a go at doing the bombardiering. Okay, so in there, entering search mode. Uh, I keep using DCS controls, which doesn't help. Okay, so I think I've designated the target. Yes, so we've got it set up. Just need to hold this on the target. I think I've got the drift set up nicely now, so this should all work. Okay, now two markers are coming together, so they should auto drop. Ah, cool. Auto jumps to the bomb view. That is quite nice. So view from us dropping the bombs. Can also have a look at the target. Okay, so I didn't quite get the drift right. Yep, definitely going to take some practice, but that's all quite cool. Okay, and gunnery practice as well. So I'm in the front gun. Actually got this linked up properly, so there we go. Bit abrupt kicking me out there. Uh, completed that one, apparently. I played with the graphic settings and seem to have turned the sky off, which is not ideal since this is meant to be two in the afternoon. It looks like we're flying at night. But never mind. Okay, put all the graphic settings back and it's still broken, but hey ho. Right, so just practicing some hit. Ooh, I got a hit, I got a hit. I got one. I actually shot one down. Yay. So there's a load of quick missions you can do if you just feel like doing a certain something. So this is just a uh, we're being attacked by fighters mission. Defend as much as we can. So an all turret here. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a plane here that's not rendering in. So yeah, very early access. Clearly a lot of bugs that need to be worked on still. And just finally, just want to have a quick look. There is a campaign mode available. It's both a campaign and an entire squadron mode. So just bomber or the entire squadron. So I'll go for an individual bomber. So, 401st group, 612th division. Thank you. You can name your plane, you can put on whatever nose art you like. Right, let's go for Froggy. This is the Jeebus bus. Right, so you can rename all of the people. That is really cool. Oh, nice. And if you do the squadron planning mode, the, the squadron campaign, then you make your own missions. So yeah, all in all seems a very, very detailed game. Huge amount to do. Far more than I'm going to get my head around in one session, but I would definitely like to come back at this, possibly starting a new campaign, seeing what there is. Seems really interesting. Still need to get my head around so much to get the best of this, but I am really impressed so far. Really enjoying it. The interface is not intuitive, lots of controls need to be learned, very, very complex, but I think it can be really, really deep. 
definitely a very, very hardcore version of what Bomber Crew is. So yeah, let me know what you thought, and if you'd like to see more of this on this channel, do just let me know down below. And otherwise, I hope to catch you in a future video. Until then, remember to be kind to yourselves and everyone else. Cheers.